I'm going to be testing Manor Lords on my 4090. I'm going to be doing it at 8K, so you can see I've got that set here. Uh, I will be doing 8K native at first, so I've got resolution scale set to 100%, and we've got TAA set here. Uh, we do have DLSS, but I'm going to take a look at that a little bit later in the video. Graphics-wise, I've got everything maxed out, so you can see everything here. Set to This is set to high. Pretty much everything else is set to ultra. And that's, uh, that's pretty much the settings there, so let's have a look. Now, this is a slightly different game to what I'd normally play, but I thought it just kind of looked kind of cool. I, I, do, I used to play a lot of Age of Empires back in the day. It's obviously not the same as that, but it's similar, similar style. So this is, seems a bit more like maybe City Skylines. I've never actually played that either, but I thought this game looked a bit cool. So I've actually started a, a little village. I don't know even know what you'd call this. So I played a little bit, played for maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. So I've kind of set this up here. Looks like we're getting just under 50 FPS. I thought it'd be cool to take a look at 8K on this, considering I thought probably should be able to do it. I don't see why it uh, it wouldn't be able to play it, but it looks like we're getting around about 50 FPS. So it's that's obviously easily doable on this, this type of game. Got an average of 51 at the moment. Can I build some more stuff? I haven't got enough resources. Looks like maybe some of the textures are a bit dodgy for me at 8K when I move move quickly. But overall not too bad for 8K really. I don't think I've ever played a game like this at, at 8K. Seeing at just over 13 and a half gigs of uh, VRAM, which is not too bad. Under 400 watts of on GP, GP power as well, 370. You can as well actually go into this view, look. How cool is this? I'm going to this third person view and have a little run around. That is so cool. Where's my church? I'm trying to actually work out where I am. I don't know where I am. It's, up, it's over there. Here we go. Could you go into the buildings? Can I go into this house? Oh, that would be cool, though, if you could go inside. Seems like we get slightly better frames doing this as well. 55, almost hitting 60. Oh, we just hit 60 there. So it seems... Oh, you can... Can you? No. It did open, though. The door opened then for that person. That is cool. Does it actually tell me what resources that gives me? It just gives me logs, does it? This thing gives me, this is like, chops it up, I assume, saw pit, woodcutter's lodge. What's the difference between a saw pit and a woodcutter's lodge? And we've got a forager hut, granary, this is pretty much all houses here. We've got a little, a well, which this woman is using. Get her water. So I'm mainly just trying to build out the houses to get more population. Not quite sure all of the different functions. It's quite an in-depth game. Haven't quite learnt all of it yet. There's something I can mine here as well. So I think if I... I can speed this up, but I've got no idle... There's no idle uh, villagers. Maybe get them out of there. So they can work on it. And I think we are... It seems like we're heading into winter here, which I haven't hit yet in the game. So we're in September. So winter starts as of from December. So a couple of months. There is some sort of like storage-based system because... I've got six months worth of food, so I'm assuming in the winter, like, your food just, there's, like, food shortages and stuff. We've got fuel for 26 months. So we just have to survive until February, I'm assuming. But a pretty chill game overall. Just take a look at my CPU usage here at 8K. 8% fluctuating down to 6%. It's pretty, uh... Barely even touching it.
Is this done now? Oh, no, it's not. See, all the icons are a lot smaller in 8K as well. Even the writing is all smaller. It's pretty much done, though. You can see the icon there. There you go. I think that's done. Is it? And I can... Is it done? I think it's done. It is. So I can double the capacity. What are we missing here? Clothing store supply. So doing this definitely brings the FPS down a little bit. Seeing more under 50. It'd be interesting to see in a sec. Take a look at DLSS and see what that's like. That should probably give us quite a lot. Obviously, depending on what presets. So you're seeing there the uh, textures on the path, on the road. You look, look at here. Definitely glitches out at 8K. I didn't see any of that at 4K, so I assume it's probably just the fact that 8K is not really designed for... Uh, a lot of games aren't really developed with 8K in mind. I want to do a path like that. Because over here... Everything's not really like... I wish I could add a path in here. Because I want to then build over here, but I don't think I can. I think they can... Can they walk through... Do they walk through here? I suppose I could just go around here, but it's just a bit awkward, isn't it? I kind of messed it up a little bit. Some of the stuff you can actually build behind, which is good. Uh, where's the tavern? Oh my god, it's massive. There's no way. Can I build one? Where do I put it, though? Um, I'm feeling like this over here is going to become a main area. I might put it here. Damn. I'm just going to do it there. Create more houses here. What have I done? I'm now going to take a look with DLSS on so you can see I've got it set to quality here. And that's not really given us really much FPS at all, has it? We're not dipping down into the 40s so much, getting about 55. But I thought we'd maybe get at least 60 doing that. But it looks like I'm going to have to drop it down a little bit more. So we're still rendering at 5K. So it's obviously still fairly high resolution. But be interesting to see. I think if we go into the... the, uh, the this view here, we break 60. It looks like we do 70, 75. Interesting how we get more FPS doing this. I guess it's only got to load in a very, like, a smaller area, I guess. It still can see, obviously, out into the distance, but I guess it's not loading any, uh, like, actual detailing, potentially. Look at this guy's shoes. <laughs> Just realised that. <laughs> Go to the tavern. Try and work out where I am again. Oh, I'm actually right by it. This is it here. Get me a beer. Oh, God. Can you... I can see inside. Oh, wait. I can go inside. Is it still being built? Oh, my God. I can actually go in these buildings. I mean, I can run through the walls. That would actually be an insane addition to this game if you could go inside and it all had the detail and stuff. That'd be crazy. But I'll come out of that. Almost hit winter now in November. Not quite sure what's going to happen, but we'll find out. Got some idle... Uh Should probably build the road here. Uh, not really going to be able to fit them in there, are we? Probably not a good idea. Try to get as many people as possible so we can work through the uh, the winter. Heavy, 
You can also add uh, like little vegetable garden and stuff to the houses, but I haven't got... It's this wealth thing. I don't know how you get that. Currently showing surplus foods. Yeah, I really don't know how you get that. I don't even see it on the... Uh, I don't even see it on there. Alright, these are all done. That one's not done. Fast forward it a bit. This one's done. So definitely seems we're actually breaking 60 FPS here a little bit as well. So going to hover around the area, I think, at 8K. VRAM's crept up a little still, 400, uh, 14 gig. Power looks fairly similar. Hasn't really come down much with DLSS. Still 390. Hovers between there and about 400. So it still pushes the GP pretty hard. Still like 74 degrees, which is pretty hot. Pretty hot for the, the average that it normally is. I'm now going to take a look with the DLSS upscaling set to balance, so you can see that here. And somehow, I don't know if maybe something's not been applied there. What is going on here? Getting lower FPS somehow. I feel like it's probably not applied. Hmm, that's interesting. If I, even if I change mid-game. Getting almost 60 here with DLSS quality. Somehow it balanced. I end up with less. And somehow, interestingly, we're now using 4% of my CPU. Normally, obviously, with DLSS, you'll see it go up quite a bit. GPU usage is still 99%, though, but obviously definitely something, definitely something funky going on. I assume if we go down to performance, it's going to probably be even worse. No, okay, so performance doesn't really give us much more than quality, though. Like I said earlier, this is this game still is early access, so likely that 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 needs to get fixed. So I do want to kind of put another person on that. Oh no, wait, the granary. So I've got some idle left, some idle people. So the windmill would go in there. And keep building houses. Gonna have to keep building this way because I need to get the farms over the other way. Look at that, perfect. Then in theory, I could actually connect up these two bits, couldn't I? That probably makes... I can't actually even see my cursor. There it is. Then it makes sense to connect these up, doesn't it? Look at that, it's come together. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.